Okay, how can you significantly increase your chances of getting retro jobs in token sales and make hundreds of access on them? Okay, ever participated in a project sale drop or token sale with the high hopes of getting that sweet share of tokens and making a fortune? But turns out you're out and you don't get anything. So why did that happen? Well, maybe because you were alone and used only one account. So your chances initially were super low. But what if I tell you, you can significantly increase your chances of making that sweet bank, all thanks to multi-accounting. As you can guess from the name, obviously, multi-accounting refers to creating and using multiple accounts or addresses. And in crypto, it's widely used for participating in token sales or airdrop events. But why is that? Well, this is done to increase your chances of being selected in lotteries, receiving larger allocations, or getting more airdrop tokens. So the more accounts you set up for the event, the more your chances of getting that sweet, sweet reward. However, you can't just go and create lots of different accounts on your single device because they will be automatically detected by your unique digital fingerprint. Because the platform is obviously not stupid and they can detect you and if you do something inappropriate or suspicious because your account is goodbye it can lead to disqualification from the event loss of tokens or even you will get banned so that's a pretty dumb way to handle it but a smart move is to use an anti-detect browser which will help you create multiple accounts and bypass digital fingerprint detection. And you can easily do that with an application called GoLogin. GoLogin is an anti-detect browser for creating and running multiple accounts with unique fingerprints and unique IP locations. It's just all the programs may anonymize you by hiding the data, but that raises suspicion for the sites. And that's why the account blocking happens as well with them. But GoLogin allows you to create different profiles and each will have its unique digital fingerprint, similar to a regular user profile. That's why it makes you anonymous so that you look like a regular user and cannot be identified by detectors. Moreover, the absolute killer feature of GoLogin is that you don't have to separately purchase a proxy as many other applications require. It's just GoLogin has it inbuilt free proxies, which makes it super convenient for beginners to use. The platform also has a free seven day trial so you can test out the app's features. But if you do like the app and decided to go pro, the plans differ mostly in features and the number of profiles. Their prices range from $24 to $99 per month with an option for a custom plan. However, it's worth noting that it's more cost-effective to purchase an annual subscription as the per-month plans almost double in price. Besides, they accept different popular payment methods, including crypto, so you'll absolutely find your way. GoLogin also has a free data plan that includes free profiles, the browser, and all the benefits of GoLogin, except for sharing profiles and team members. And by the way, Creating multiple accounts can help you earn more money, not just in cryptocurrency, but also in other areas as well, like marketing, traffic, partnership programs, and etc. Hell, you can even go with referral programs just fine. But as a crypto channel, let's go through the process of setting up multi-accounts for participating in retro jobs in token sales. So, shall we? First thing, we go to the main website, gologin.com, download and install the app. I think there will be no problem with that. After creating a new account or logging in, we get to the main page, sort of profile browser. Here, we see five default pre-built profiles. We actually don't need them, so we can delete them later. Instead, let's create our own profile. In the upper right corner, click on add profile and we get to the profile customization page on the right there is a profile summary describing the profile settings which will be launched and to change them we go to the left side 
and see the settings that we are about to tweak right now. First things first, let's set up a profile name. For example, just name it test one. As you can see in the profile summary column, the profile name also changed. So that how it will be. So let's start with an overview. And here we can pick up the operating system of our profile. And by the way, as we are just getting started with the app, it's recommended to keep most of the settings by default as they are optimized for better performance. Later, when you get the hang of it, you can obviously tweak it as you wish. But for our purpose right now, default settings will run just fine. Okay, so keep operating system settings by default and go to proxy. And here is where things get interesting. So remember about the killer feature of GoLogin that I've told you before? So that's right, it's GoLogin's proxies that you can use absolutely for free. Well, of course, you can obviously use your own proxies, but in our case, let's just stick to go logins. Okay, we have the list of countries that we need to pick, but we need to do that smart. So here's a catch. Usually token sale or to drop projects have certain requirements or rules that describe what countries can and cannot participate in the sale. And most often, like almost 100%, you won't see countries like the US and Canada in there, so they're not on the list usually. That is why before setting up your multi-accounts, you gotta check out the requirements first and pick the country that fits. Okay, when it's done, click on check proxy and proceed to the next column. We have a time zone and it's also advised to keep your settings by default here. Okay, next, extensions. Obviously, for our crypto needs, we need a crypto wallet. Just type in MetaMask and install it. You can also install other extensions that you like and use, like Trust Wallet, Phantom, TronLink, Google Translator, and even Telegram. So obviously, all that suits your workflow. All right, done with that. And we can also edit bookmarks for the browser. So yeah, that's pretty much it for basic profile tweaking. Well, of course, when you familiarize yourself with the app, you can obviously later change some advanced settings. But for now, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So here is our final profile summary. And let's click create profile in the down left corner. So there you have it our brand new profile on the main page. As you can see, we can also add notes and tags for easier navigation and even edit fields shown on the main page. So that's super convenient. Okay, so what's next? Let's pick our profile by clicking on the square to the left of our profile's name. And here are many things that we can do with that. We can share our profiles with others and also add them to folders, sort of grouping them. Besides, we can make all sorts of edits like bookmarks, extensions, tags, update fingerprint and export. So we can do almost anything with that. We can also add a different proxy to the trail to mask it even better. And obviously we can delete profiles, rename them and finally run and stop them. So yeah, let's just finally do that. Let's run one of our profiles and set it up like for multi-accounting use. Click on run profile over here or over there and it will boot up. And by the way, it's run by their own Orbita browser and as you can see, it automatically loads our chosen extensions. Before starting our work, we need to check our anonymity level first. So I recommend checking your IP on a special website. So let's just, I don't know, pick queer for that purpose and check out our connection. As you can see, our disguise is 100%, so that's perfect. But let's not stop here. Let's also check out our digital fingerprint, like whether it looks trustworthy or not. Go to the website called ipha.com and after a while, we can see that our digital identity looks trustworthy. And yeah guys, in case something goes wrong and you don't get this level, you can always change your proxy country or just reboot that. So yeah, we're good to go to set up our MetaMask account. Okay, so let's not waste time on how to do it. After that, 
we need to get our multi accounts ready for participating in retro jobs and token sale events. That is why your accounts must have some activity on them before entering the event. Besides, in multi accounting, it's super important not to link your wallets and transfer coins between them. Thus, your multi accounts can be like detected and eventually get banned. So be extremely careful when topping up your wallets and getting them ready for coin list sales, glean drops, and project retro jobs, as one mistake can cause you many. So you better make it right from the start comply with the requirements, and you're good to go scoring the jackpot. But that's a whole other story for a separate video. Just remember folks, this is the basics of multi-counting and how you can get started with that. As you can see, it's actually pretty easy to do with Go login as it is super beginner friendly has nice UI and has tons of cool features. It's easy to set it up and manage multiple profiles with unique fingerprints and IP locations and not be spotted by trackers. So yeah, it does its job just right in whether area you need multiple accounts for. Of course, we can always make an in-depth tutorial on this topic, so just let us know in the comments below. But if you wanted to try making your first steps in creating multiple accounts, in crypto and get those insane access on token sales and retro jobs, well, you know what to do already.